Sergio Perez's seat is under a huge threat, and it seems like the Mexican driver will have it very tough to see the end of his contract in 2026, as confirmed by Red Bull's high-profile management, if the slump in performance continues. Even though Perez is adamant that he's safe in Red Bull and has had a good recovery race in Hungary, the cards are still open for Red Bull, who now have a 51-point lead ahead of McLaren. So, in need of a much stronger second driver, could we see Perez out of Red Bull and will this be the end of his career? It goes without saying that Perez's career is hanging on a thread, and that is something that the veteran driver knows by himself. He doesn't need a constant reminder of it. However, when talking about this, he was adamant that there is no need to fear anything, as he doesn't understand why everybody keeps talking about his contract in the past couple of weeks, when it's been clear as the sky that his performance does not suit the requirements of the RB20 even though the car is not nearly as dominant as its predecessors. When talking about his future to a greater extent, Perez went on to say, Obviously, I cannot talk about my contract, but I'm pretty sure nothing will change. What is said is that the next two races are very important for me. I want to go on a holiday with a good spirit, and I think it's good for the side of my garage to have a good spirit. I'm fully focused on delivering, and I will be here again next year, and that is nothing different. I'm fully committed to myself. However, we must not forget the team of Perez drivers, Red Bull. This is a squad that has been swapping drivers for far worse performances, and if we are to look at the 2019 situation with Gasly, the Frenchman was delegated back to Toro Rosso after finishing 6th in the first half of the season, in a car that was far inferior compared to what Red Bull has right now. To put things into perspective, the car with which Verstappen is fighting for the championship fourth in his career and has a solid 76-point lead over Norris is the same car with which Perez is now P7 and under a huge threat to be dethroned by Russell in the next couple of races. There have been reports about clauses in his performance if he is to be dropped out of Red Bull, and some of them were that Perez cannot be more than 100 points below his teammate Verstappen, while the other one was that he cannot be below P6 in the Drivers' Championship. The team refused to confirm the legitimacy of these clauses, but both Marco and Horner said that there are always clauses in a contract, and you can always put pressure on an underperforming driver one way or another. Christian Horner has been quite adamant that things need to change from Perez's side of the garage, and before the Budapest GP, the Brit went on to say that it's quite unsustainable for Perez to not score points with the RB20, something that he's acutely aware of as well. Recently, he went on to criticize his qualifying form because finishing P7 in Budapest after starting P16 is definitely a huge morale booster for Perez, but even Russell, who started one place ahead of him and finished P8, has done more or less the same job, which goes to show that yet the superiority of the RB20 in Perez's hands is a flaw that he needs to fix sooner rather than later. Elaborating on this matter to a greater extent, Horner said, Hungary was probably Perez's strongest race since China, so he should take some confidence from it. If he had qualified for a higher position, you would have seen that he would have been in a much more competitive situation. But Perez has struggled to be in this position for all three days of the racing weekend, and that is something that needs to change. There is no need to talk about how many drivers are waiting for Perez to continue with this slump and to just grab the opportunity that is being presented to them, and the first one is Daniel Ricciardo. The Aussie has felt disappointed with the strategy that was presented to him because he finished outside of the points while Tsunoda was able to finish P9 and put himself on the radar even more. Considering the fact that he drove the race with a lot of pain after the qualifying crash, which was a genuine fault of his own. The Japanese driver feels like there's a lot more he could be doing in this team right now, and being part of Racing Bulls can only bring you so much, so he's ready for the next step, and ready to show the world that he can be the teammate of Verstappen, whether we like it or not. When being asked about this matter, the answer of the 24-year-old couldn't have been plainer, as he said. Obviously, I'm feeling ready, compared to the last three years, to fight against top teams, higher positions, even with Max or whatever. But in the end, they are the ones who are going to decide, and it's not something that I can control. 
so I'm just focusing on what I have to do in the next two races. I think I deserve the seat next to Verstappen. A dark horse of a candidate has also emerged in the form of Liam Lawson, who did some stellar work during the Silverstone test with the Austrian team, and it seems like they have more than enough confidence to put him in an F1 seat sooner rather than later. Of course, Marco has already admitted that there is a very big pressure on the team to decide what to do with Lawson, because if they don't do this soon, then he can activate a clause in his contract that would see him drive in another team. Audi, for example, who are leading candidates to land him a spot from 2025 onwards. But according to Tsunoda, even though he has nothing against the talent of the 22-year-old who went on to replace Ricardo in a five-race stunt in 2023 and scored two points in Singapore, the best result by an Alpha Tauri driver at the time, he feels like if Lawson is put in that seat instead of Perez, then it would be weird for the other candidates, like him and Ricardo. Elaborating on this matter in a greater extent, the Japanese driver said, If Red Bull chooses Liam, that would be weird. But I mean, just for me at least. For sure, Liam did a really good job when he drove for the team, but I think I did more than that. We will see how it goes. In the end, Red Bull knows how to manage drivers. The thing is, they're not really rushing it. With Checo, they announced it two races ago, and Checo might perform really, really well, and if he does so, they don't have a reason to change the driver. But here, it's important to note that Perez has received great support from his teammate Verstappen, who said that the Mexican driver is in constant talks with him about all types of things, strategies, setups of the car, as well as the race in general. What was believed to be one of the most hated duos on the grid after the 2022 Sao Paulo GP has turned into a great protective barrier from the three-time world champion, which, quite honestly, is to be expected because Perez is no threat to Verstappen's championship whatsoever. However, he is a huge threat to Red Bull's chances of winning the Constructors' Championship if he continues with this slump, because in the two of the last three races, Verstappen participated in a crash that almost saw him retire the car as he was lucky to finish B5 on both occasions. And on both of those occasions, Perez finished behind him in P7. When talking about the criticism of Perez and whether or not it's justified, Verstappen said, I support Perez every weekend. I answer all of his questions, including the setup. I have a very good relationship with him, that is not a problem at all. Of course, you always want to have two drivers up there, but at the end of the day, you always have to do it yourself. No one is going to help you win a race or whatever. You have to really go out of your own strength. All of this goes to show that the situation in Red Bull will vary from time to time. But with Marco saying that the decision and the driver's lineup will be made after Spa, as he and Christian have scheduled a meeting in the UK regarding this matter, it's probably the biggest assurance we can get in times like these where the situation in Red Bull is all but stable. With all this in mind, do you think that Perez is as good as gone? And more importantly, who do you think would replace him in that seat? Let us know in the comments below.